Hey there, this is Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. I know there's already some rain out there on and off today and tonight, but again, we are keeping an eye on that WVLT First Alert Weather Day for you going into your weekend. That WVLT First Alert Weather Day is Saturday, so there's a lot of changes right around the corner. I was actually just pulling up the live stream here. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to keep an eye on that while giving you kind of a big breakdown on what all we're monitoring here. Because when we're keeping an eye out for these, in this case, a strong cold front, there's a lot happening in the region today. We've actually already talked to our sister station in Memphis area, West Tennessee, our station in Nashville area, Middle Tennessee. This is all going to be moving across the state today. So that's where we're watching for all that change. So I'm going to take you back to my graphics here, give you an idea of what we're talking about. Again, we have on and off rain in our area now, but this is not part of our first alert. That's Saturday. That's when the intensity goes up. So I know some of you are dodging some rain today. Honestly, I'm going to be out at a tree lighting ceremony at Turkey Creek this evening. You can keep those plans. The only thing that really could throw those off would be an isolated thunderstorm. You know, rumble of thunder, absolutely. If you hear that rumble of thunder, you want to get inside. But keep in mind that today it's scattered rain, an isolated rumble of thunder. It's a breezy day, especially in the plateau to southeastern Kentucky. Those winds aren't widespread yet, which is actually then the transition into Saturday for those gusty downpours. So just kind of mapping that out, summarizing it for you here again. Friday, breezy with scattered rain and isolated rumble of thunder. Saturday is when we have the strongest winds, the heaviest rain, honestly the greatest warming, but also the tumbling of temperatures as those gusts ramp up easily to 40 to 50 miles per hour. A lot of us are in that half an inch to one inch range of rainfall. You see all the shades of blue. There's still some purples and reds. That's an isolated one and a half plus. So obviously some very heavy rain with our WVLT first alert weather day. Like I said, there is some rain now. I know that I'm keeping an eye on that for you here. If you uh, open that WVLT first alert weather app, we can actually give you a message when there's heavy rain nearby in case you want to be out running some errands and just want a heads up before you get caught in it. So that's where we're seeing some isolated rain in Union County and Fentress area, West Claiborne County, southeastern Kentucky. There's obviously a lot going on now out ahead of that strong cold front on that loop here. You can see better what I'm talking about with that scattered rain. There's a good string of downpours actually inching towards you with some rumbles of thunder west of Jamestown towards Wayne County. You'll catch that one over the next hour as these continue to develop and move east northeast. Look what happens when I zoom out even more. It's just pockets of rain across Middle Tennessee and then West Tennessee. See so yeah, how spiked to 70s? Yeah, that's going to be our morning high. Yes, you heard me. I'm not, not miswording that one. Morning high for your Saturday. Those 70s will be in East Tennessee. So that's why we're already talking with our our station on the other side of the state because we know this is coming west to east across the region for you. So big picture, there's a lot of change that will blow into town. That's why it's actually breezier on the plateau to southeastern Kentucky today. If you missed that forecast where you live on WVLT News, I also have that in the WVLT First Alert weather app for you because it dramatically impacts your temperatures. The breezy conditions actually go ahead and warm you up on the plateau to southeastern Kentucky today. You can catch that rumble of thunder. Notice even stepping up a bit this evening to some 30 mile per hour gusts in these areas. Not really making it down into the valley until later tonight. Notice even that Southern Valley catching it around midnight. We'll go ahead and be monitoring those winds for you tonight into the morning hours. That 40 plus mile per hour gusts already starting to spread out, waking up, letting the dog out in the morning. Yeah, you're waking up to very, very warm air and gusts of 40 to 50 plus miles per hour. This is going to be that peak heating, fueling the strong cold front as it moves across our area. Just to run this through for you, notice midday starts coming down just a bit on the plateau. That's the back edge of that strong cold front, so it'll still be windy in the afternoon. Rainy slowly coming down. Thank you so much. Actually, we're getting a question right now. Barbara would like to know, how do I turn alerts on? So the easiest thing to do is to open your WVLT weather app here. I'm going to come back to me really quick. All right, so I've got my the Facebook Live, so I'm just going to swipe that away for a second. If you open your WVLT First Alert weather app, I know this may look backwards to you. Sometimes those cameras reverse it. Your settings menu is right here in the top right corner. Make sure your location is turned on, but actually what's a really cool feature about that is say you've got a loved one who lives in a different area, you could actually choose multiple towns there, so that may be helpful for you whether you live or work in different areas, but also your GPS location 
is very helpful and safe, go into your settings and you can get the WVLT weather alerts, but then you can also select a ton of different types. Say you want to know about severe weather, heavy rain, lightning, their flooding, your winter, all of that stuff's here in the settings. So I wanted to show you that just so you could see that a little bit easier. I'm gonna go back to the Facebook Live, so if any of you have any questions, feel free to ask. Give me just one second to get that loaded back up here. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully that helps you out, Barbara. Um, thank you very much. Pamela for joining us and Jane. Let me show you back onto my computer here. We're gonna go right back into those winds. So if you have any questions, pull, feel free to ask and I will definitely try to keep up. Melody said you're planning on tra traveling to London, Kentucky uh, for Christmas. All right, we're gonna focus on this weekend, two weeks out from Christmas. We will definitely keep you updated through that WVLT First Alert weather app. All right, day forecast keeps you going out ahead of it. So these winds will be starting to back down Saturday afternoon to evening. Notice still some strong winds, just not as bad as it is the first half of the day. And then if you have Saturday evening plans, it's breezy at this point, some showers winding down. So big picture, that's why there is an enhanced risk for severe weather in West Tennessee. This is where multiple severe storms are likely today. And then it moves into Middle Tennessee late today into tonight. And then it moves into East Tennessee tomorrow. So that's why our WVLT first alert day has been for Saturday. We've had this up for you all week. So really what we're monitoring is these scattered pockets of rain that develop out ahead of that front. See some of these pockets of rain here around Knoxville this evening, this afternoon evening, because I'll be at a tree lighting at Turkey Creek, having some fun out there at the Pinnacle. And then we're watching that line of storms move from West Tennessee to Middle Tennessee overnight, approach East Tennessee with that first alert for tomorrow. So obviously there's a lot of changes right around the corner going into that strong cold front for your Saturday. Biggest concern here really is this heavy rainfall and gusty winds. There'll be some cooler showers on the backside. So when it comes down to it, that severe storm risk, a little bit up close for you here. Now we're looking at that marginal risk here at home. It was painted green from West East. What that means to you, your county, everyone is included. So if you're saying, what about, what about my town? What about my county? This applies to everybody. All right, we all have an isolated severe storm risk. This is in addition to the heavy rain and gusty winds. That's kind of more widespread. So what that means is we're all going to be dealing with heavy rainfall and gusty winds. But a couple of the storm cells could actually step up into more intensity could step up into that severe threshold, which is where the gusts actually reach 60 miles per hour. I'm checking in on the comments and questions right now. Thank you, Donna, for joining us from La Follette. I, I agree, Tanya. I hope everybody can stay safe out there. All right, so as we continue on with that risk for the rest of your weekend, I want to show you that rainfall. Remember, we do have some scattered rain today, but it's closer to a tenth to a very isolated quarter of an inch, and that's you know wrapping up at midnight. Now play it out on into your Saturday morning. Those couple of spots of rain step up and then here comes that strong cold front. That's the difference maker right there. That is the heavy rainfall that jumps into that one plus rainfall potential. See some of those spikes closer to one and a half. These purples that you can see in parts of the Southern Valley, Foothills Mountains. So there'll be some big ups and downs. That means at your house you may say, mm, it wasn't that bad, but again, cross town your friends, your family in another county. We're keeping an eye on all 30 plus counties from southeastern Kentucky throughout East Tennessee with our WVLT first alert day. Now this is a quick look you've been summarizing. I mentioned that heating in the morning. Basically, we're gonna open the door, let the dogs out in the morning and it's gonna be warm and it's gonna be windy. There are those downpours, those storms kind of coming right on that edge of the plateau around 8 a.m. Meanwhile, those temperatures keep rising in the valley. Could easily hit 70 mid to late morning. Yeah, just ahead of that leading edge of that front. Think of these temperatures as storm fuel. So that is still going to give that, that energy to those storms, give that clash with the cold air. And that's why we have that first alert weather day. Now run that out through the valley into the foothills and the mountains in the early afternoon and then temperatures will start coming down. So that's where we do have those downpours, those storms, and then more so breezy showers in the afternoon, dropping around 59, around three o'clock in Knoxville, starting to dip here a bit more, but notice the rain doesn't just cut off on the backside, but it is nowhere near as intense as that leading edge, that main line. And then that's where those temperatures take a dip even more with some scattered cooler showers in the evening, still breezy. And yes, you're seeing a couple spots of snowfall in the higher elevations. Here's a different look at that. And just in case it helps you see a little bit better that way, honestly, after this live, you can pause it and zoom in whatever you need to do to help you kind of navigate around these changes that we're monitoring for you. There's that leading edge of that strong cold front, seven to eight northern plateau, eight to nine or 
Central Time Cross Hill, for example, that would be 8 a.m. your time, 9 a.m. Eastern for Wayne to McCreary County then, 9 a.m. Eastern to Whitley County as well. Keep moving that east around 10 a.m. We're starting to get the leading edge of those storms into the valley as we're seeing a few of those cells that are more intense could be stronger to severe. Uh, notice dropping down into the southern valley, McMinn, Monroe, Megs Ray, Bledsoe. We're keeping an eye on you too. You could easily have a couple of these stronger to severe storms. And then that back edge coming in and the cooler air coming in. So notice it tightens up a bit midday as we still have some storms coming off the plateau through the valley to the mountains. And it all continues to move east. So we're still catching some of those downpours in the valley to northeast Tennessee and the Smokies before it starts stepping down. More of these greens, that's what we want to see. Get rid of those oranges and reds. Get that out of here. That's where it starts stepping down to more scattered rain still lingering into your evening hours, some showers and turning cooler. And yes, the mountaintop snowfall. It is a cold front after all, but those temperatures are tumbling from 70 in the morning to the afternoon at 59. So just to recap what you need to know with this Saturday first alert weather day, we have an 80% coverage as that cold front brings gusty downpours. The winds and the rain are our biggest threat from the morning through the early afternoon, but then we are keeping an eye out for that isolated stronger to severe storm risk. I want to stress, uh, download the WVLT First Alert weather app. I went over the settings earlier. If you have questions, feel free to message me. Just search Heather Haley on Facebook. You can find me. Happy to answer your questions. We also go into detail online with your forecast. This is where you can also watch detailed videos. You can see updates, but of course, online, handy on the go. But then we also have even more for you if you do choose iPhone or Android to download that WVLT First Alert weather app. As always, I always say stay informed to stay safe. And this WVLT First Alert weather day for Saturday is definitely a good reason to do that.